know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. So I probably will only be able to post a few more videos before Saturday on this channel and then I will be offline till probably mid next week, late next week. The reason for this is because Hurricane Irma is heading and barreling down straight toward my location. I'm in Florida and my heart goes out right now to all those who are suffering by its hands in the Caribbean and uh, my family did evacuate. I had to stay behind because of my job. I have to I have to be here. Uh, but don't worry, guys. I should be in a relatively safe location helping out, so um, you don't have to worry there. But hopefully those of you guys who are living in Florida, just make sure you have all the supplies you need. And if not, I think at this point it might be a little bit too late to evacuate because the roads are just jam-packed. Um, gas is essentially a precious commodity at this point. So uh, I would try to hunker down or go to a shelter or something like that because this is a monster of a hurricane. And hopefully you guys who are in South Car Carolina, uh, Georgia, all those states that might be in its trajectory, please, please, please get supplies or leave depending on, you know, how strong it is by the time it gets there. More than likely, it'll still be a monster unless hopefully it goes into the sea. But Anyway guys, figured I'd give you guys these updates so that way you know uh, what's going on in my world. But another thing I wanted to go ahead and talk about, I know you guys are trying to get into the video, but I wanted to go ahead and mention this because YouTube has given me early access to this community tab on my channel. It has added it on there and what I got from this is that it's essentially just a better way for me to interact with you guys, my fans. And you guys know I'm all about interacting with you guys. I literally comment back and reply on every single, on most, I would say 85% of the posts on each video. I try, unless the video doesn't have that much comments, and I do it on all of them. And I feature a lot of your comments on my, on my videos. So, you know, I'm all about this. And so I can go ahead and post videos on here, my latest videos. I can post polls and pictures. I'm gonna start posting pictures of my thumbnails because a lot of you guys have been asking me, you know, where I get my thumbnails and, and, and you know, a lot of questions about them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on there. If there's any songs that I found, I'm, I'll put them on there. Polls really is probably one of the most exciting things because uh, I am so big on polling you guys on the direction of the channel, which videos to make, things of that nature. So I'm excited to have this. I'll start posting things on there. So this is why it's really important. If you guys haven't done it already, I don't want to you know, beat a dead horse. But if you guys can hit that little bell, just uh, you know, go ahead and turn on my notifications. That way you guys can go ahead and check out or check me out on this community tab and get whatever I'm trying to give you guys or post to you guys as soon as possible. I'm also on Twitter, uh, more sparingly than anything, but if you guys want to go ahead and follow me there and I have Facebook, all those links are always in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. I summarized all the spoilers that came out for episodes 107 through potentially episodes 110, and I want to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts on each one, on the main points of each one. So first, uh, episode 107, in this episode, Frost, seems to have taken a contract by the Kai of Universe 6 to target Universe 7 and more specifically Master Roshi and then Vegeta. So the way I'm thinking of, of this is that the reason they're targeting Master Roshi is because Master Roshi has literally taken out more characters than some of the top players have taken out. I mean Tien in my opinion was a top player and he only took out one guy. So. Master Roshi has become this sort of threat and he also has the Mafuba which is extremely powerful and we see in the teaser that he's actually trying to use it on Frost also so he is a threat which is surprising to me how well he's doing but at this point now honestly like I'm kind of warming up to Master Roshi you guys know that I've been on the fence about him since his uh, debut episodes for entering this tournament I just uh, cringy but now he's actually becoming a real fighter a real threat he's actually died and given up his life for the universe and then he's been revived so for universe 7 I mean so yeah awesome and then he's going to target Vegeta which for me is a little bit more and eh, I don't know I don't know how that's gonna happen with with Frost being so weak unless he's going to um, he's going to take advantage of the fact that Vegeta will probably won't go into blue because he's saving his stamina so if Vegeta stays in Super Saiyan maybe Frost has gotten as powerful as Vegeta Super Saiyan, 
or maybe he's got new techniques, maybe he's got a new transformation or new sort of uh, ability that he's going to showcase against Vegeta to try to, you know, even out the odds. But the reasoning that I thought was really interesting about this is that he wants to have all his crimes committed, uh, that he committed in Universe 6, be expunged by the Kai and by Universe 6 so he can stop being on the run. And also, he's going to be given money to carry out his business. Now, I believe his business was you know black market stuff if i remember correctly he had a similar um i don't know if it was similar to frieza's business but I, I know it was around those lines if you guys can remember i haven't looked it up and haven't looked at that episode in a while i think back in universe 6 tournament but if you guys remember you guys obviously will let me know in the comments below what was what was frost's business and how can he make that business better yeah there you go so I thought that was interesting. I like that he's got some motivation to kind of do this. Um, let's go ahead and go to episode 108. Frieza is smiling when Gohan is getting the crap beat out of him by one of the other fighters. I mean, the other it, it says in the description that the other that the Universe Seven members were all kind of like wary of uh, Frieza at this point, and you know, thinking that he's going to betray them and stuff. And this could be foreshadowing that he is. But nobody on Universe 7 should be surprised by this. That not only that Frieza may betray them, but that Frieza is smiling and that Gohan is getting the crap beat out of him. Remember, Gohan was one of the fighters that was fighting him on planet Namek that was really putting a hamper on his plans. So for Frieza, it makes sense. And Frieza's not he's he's got the most against all these characters. I mean, 17 and 18, 18's part of the team now. 17 has just been brought back into the fold and you know he's a good guy he's got a family but Frieza really hasn't had that sort of redemption and he doesn't need to he doesn't need, he need to have that he's a villain so I'm glad that they're showcasing the fact that he's not going to help out and it shows that he's not going to help out because in episode 109 um, Goku tries to stop Frost from attacking Universe 7 now I think in I missed putting it down here but I think back in episode 107 uh, Frieza was uh, either was mentioned that he was watching Frost or that he had interacted with Frost at some point before he started beating down on the Universe 7 fighters and Frieza didn't do anything. Something along those lines, I could be mistaken, but it shouldn't be a surprise again. Frieza and Frost kind of had like this hidden acknowledgement to each other that they are the same race and they will kind of have this sort of unspoken alliance that they will probably both betray each other on. So it's not that big of a surprise, but Goku does try to stop him and I'm glad that we get Rebrand back. I actually liked her honestly um some characters do get kind of annoying and she is on the fence of that annoying -esque nature but i like her I, I think it's interesting her transformation i think it's interesting her character for the most part um and i liked the fight scenes with her and her and her fellow uh uh female warriors in a, a couple episodes back when they were fighting 17 so i'm glad that she's back i'm glad that she's showing all her power and probably hopefully she's try giving goku a run for his money but then, episode 109, Jiren finally unleashes all his power and overwhelms every warrior with his massive key beyond anyone's imagination. So, what this signifies to me is that either A, Jiren just unleashes all the key that he's been harnessing because he hasn't really fought anybody throughout the whole tournament, and this key is something similar to the fact that it's going to be covering the entire stadium. It's going to be overwhelming everybody. People are going to be falling back with it. That's either what they're, you know, that's the more literal terms. Or if you read into it, he could be taking out characters left and right in a blink of an eye. So I want Jiren to have some sort of eye ability. That's kind of what I made a video on a while back. But if he just has super power key or whatever if you know the, the way they're making him sound it's almost like he is literally the spitting image of what akira torama was like you know oh you guys like these goku versus superman fights well i'll have i'll just put superman in the tournament that's kind of what it seems like because it, it doesn't from what we get hinted at i mean i know that i threw some evidence that there could be something with his eyes but for the most part if you really just look at it broadly what we get hinted at is that he's really big bulky powerful and hasn't fought anybody yet and you know meditates to preserve his key and all that so it could be very possible that this is essentially Akira Toriyama's version of Superman and that kind of fits into what I'm going to go into here in a little bit so I'm thinking that he's going to be knocking out characters because I mean the tournament's winding down now and the one hour special of Goku and versus Jiren I think is right after this but it doesn't say it specifically so I think he's going to be knocking characters out, like the weaker characters, um, but it also could just be that he unleashes all his energy and then attacks Goku. So, episode possible episode 110. I 
try I looked at the the spoilers I'm gonna leave a link to both of them in the description below you guys can go ahead and check them out it doesn't say episode 110 for the one hour special but just the way I'm looking at the calendar and I think this is on uh, this is October 8th this is gonna come so just it just makes sense for this to be the one hour special uh, episode 110 so Goku versus Jiren. And just by Jiren unleashing his power in the last episode and, you know, Rebrand fighting Goku, there's not much um, for an one hour special. I mean, they could fit a lot into it, but I don't think that they're going to be chat packing in the Goku versus Jiren fight in that episode. I think it's going to be in this episode, have a whole episode dedicated to it, similar to Goku versus Frieza. So, in this, these spoilers are crazy. Okay, Goku fights Jiren with all his power. And he uses Kaioken times 20. And I'm assuming that he's, though I'm, even though it doesn't say it, I'm assuming he's using Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20. And Jiren is not phased, essentially, is what the spoilers state. Okay, that is ridiculous. So that is essentially the most powerful form and, and, and power up that we know Goku to have, or any of the Z fighters to have. I mean, it's debatable whether Vegeta gets something new. It doesn't seem that way from the way I'm reading these now. It could be, it could it could be in the, in the future. But I I mean, right now we're already at the Goku versus Jiren fight, so I don't think so. And hopefully it does though. But in 17 is still in this, but we'll, we'll see what's going on. So this to me signifies that yes, it is why I was saying that Jiren is essentially a Toriyama's Superman. That's what I'm thinking it is. And he's going to be extremely powerful just in his in his regular form, normal form. I'm sure he's ha he'll have some hacks, he'll have some um, abilities that we haven't seen. Some you know maybe an explanation of why he's so powerful, you know something along those lines. But for the most part, yeah, he is essentially just tanking the most powerful transformation Universe Seven has. Is is what it sounds like. He's tanking it and not being real phased by it. So. Goku, in light of all this, he has one ace in the whole technique, and he that's where he's going to use it. So the, the, the wording of this is very specific. Essentially, it's stating that this is not a form. The Silverized transformation, the Limit Breaker form, is not a new transformation. It's stating it's a technique. I figure if it was a transformation, because they've said transformation before in spoilers, or a new form, which they've also said, they would put it in here, but it just says new technique. So this goes back to a couple episodes, a couple of videos before that I made where I talked about instead of this Silverized Transformation being a form, it could also be a technique where it could be very similar to One For All from My Hero Academia. It could be very similar to that. So with Goku using it like that, essentially it would mean that he's using, he's putting and instilling the God Key into his very being for limited, amount, limited amounts of time to gain super strength or godly strength or strength to even match Jiren and I mean I guess for those of you guys thinking like why would it be the point of that seeing as how we already have these transformations that sort of do the same thing it's what's the point what's the difference between transformation and technique I guess technique maybe is more temporary or something I'm thinking and I think it'd be better for it to be that way because having Goku giving Goku a brand new form like this is just overpowering him a little bit but i mean even though i would like it to be that way but i think it's very that it's specifically stated that it's a technique as opposed to a form i think there's some weight to that but again it, it is japanese and it's just a tra rough translation so it could just be a transformation a brand new a brand new transformation but i'm really interested to see what exactly they're going to be doing in this episode i i feel like since it's a, it's a one hour special right right in the middle of the episode they're going to be uh goku is going to realize that his transformation his 20 times Kaioken with Super Saiyan Blue is not working, so he's gonna have to go into this. And we're gonna have a whole new sequence. He's going to explain what it is, and then he's going to attack Jiren and probably either be on Jiren's level or be a little bit stronger than Jiren. But the best way for this to be, in my opinion, would be that it has a time limit of some kind because we don't want, I don't want overpoweredness like that. And seeing as how we've gotten any like real power ups, like the even when he first went into Kaioken um, or any of the fusions, they usually have. To, time limits even the potara fusion has a time limit now i think that it would be better for this to have a time limit hell even even um zamazu Mer zamazu had some sort of time limit where he started decomposing so that would be pretty cool to see i think i think that probably be the best way for this to go anyway last thing is that there's going to be a new ending theme so 
I still don't think that Frost is going to take out Master Oshi. Or I think he's, he may take out Vegeta, seeing as Vegeta is also going to be in that scrap. And that's going to be keep going with the Prophecy of Elimination theory, where the ending theme, the last, the new, this ending theme is stating which character is going to be knocked off first. But apparently we're going to get a new ending theme. Maybe that one will make it clearer. I'm, ex I'm excited to see what that one's going to profess, uh, what prophecy that one's going to tell. But besides that, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of all this. Let me know, guys. Uh, drop me a like if you like my video. And this is going to be... Dragon Ball Black signing off.